I think every generation of children should see a version of Peter Pan. That seems completely the right thing to do to me. It celebrates childhood, it's entertaining, it's magical, and it deals with something that we all have to encounter, which is growing up. There have been so many versions of Peter Pan um, since it was first written. So if you look at the book, and then you've got the play, and then you've got the Disney versions, and then you've got all the pantos that have come out of it. But if you go back to the book, there's loads of themes in it that, that sort of Disney and pantos have ironed out over the years. It's quite dark. There's a lot about children dying. All the lost boys are boys that fell out of prams. And the smallest star is meant to be this, this star that looks over all these lost families. Wendy, every single woman in the book tries to kill Wendy at some point. Uh, and I thought, that's an interesting story. Why is that, Jay and Barry? Um, and at the question of why lost boys get to stay lost boys forever, but uh, girls have to immediately become mothers. That Wendy is immediately forced into the uh, home on the ground to be a mother, to cook and to clean, and the little boys, they never have to grow up. So there was a lot in it that I sort of wanted to address. The book was really meaty, and I'd, I'd never realised these things about Peter Pan. We've kept quite a lot of the elements from the book in this version. But most of those elements have a new twist on them. So there's still the big battles, there's still Peter versus Hook, uh, there's still the pirate ship at the end, there's still the home under the ground and all the lost boys. But each of the um, iconic moments in it have, have a new twist on it. Slightly more ironic maybe take on, on them than the play, the sort of saccharine nature of the play allowed originally. So all of the same things in there, but with a new exciting twist, nice and modern and nice and funny.